Well, today I'm going to pick up a W58 transmission and it's already got a 2J bell housing on it. The guy has a flywheel clutch. He's also He also has a twin scroll set up, twin turbos, and he's got an ECU and harness. But I think it's non-VVTi, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work for us, but I'm gonna grab the stuff anyways because it's a super good price. So, uh, yeah. We're working on that budget 2JZ swap, and I also don't think that we're gonna turbo the car right away because I don't think I want a 16-year-old kid driving a turbo 2JZ car, but I don't know. So I think that we really need a 2JZ GTE VVTi uh, ECU. So I don't know, I'll see what the guy has when we get there, but it's too good of a price. It's a really long drive, but we'll be driving down the coast, and so it'll, you know, it'll be a nice scenic drive. So anyways, <clears throat> let you guys know when we get there. So I just uh, left the dude's house. I'm going to stop and grab something to eat. But anyways, I'll show you what I got. So I picked up this Trans. It's already got a 2J bell housing on it. He gave me the clutch flywheel, uh, clutch floor thrall bearing. Um, I got all this piping and stuff for a twin scroll setup. I got a forward facing intake which is something I was looking for. It's missing a couple sensors, but anyways. Trans, shifts good. Went through all the gears. Anyways. So I got all that. Oh, uh, let's see if I can get this back in here. And then, uh, oh, did I unlock this thing? I got the twin turbos, twin scrolls right there, kind of hard to see. And then I got a GT, I think this is a non-VVTi, it's got three plugs, and I think I need a four plug, but I got a, I got the whole harness and everything, so even if I can't use that, and if we don't decide to use the twin turbos, which I don't think we will, we're probably going to go single turbo, I mean, I got a bunch of stuff for wiring, or I can resell this. So anyways... I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat, maybe hit up this little casino here, and then uh, head back home, and we will start the swap. Okay, so I'm back from getting all that stuff. I ended up on the way home, I found a guy who had uh, the computer we needed, the ECU we needed, and a rear sump oil pan, just the upper, so still got some parts we're going to order, but I'll show you guys the ECU we got. Uh, right here, this is the one that I believe we need. And it's actually like five or six plug, whatever. But anyways, yeah, and then I got 
uh, rear sump uh, pan, just the upper, it didn't come with the baffle or the lower pan or the pickup. So I'm gonna have to order all that stuff, which sucks because the bottom pan is like expensive. I was looking on Drift Motion last night. So, anyways, before we get to pulling this motor out of this Lexus, um, I want to do like a little rundown of everything we bought so far because we're trying to keep this on a budget and then we'll have like a list of stuff that we sell we haven't sold anything yet off the lexus or like i got that twin turbo set up it pretty much came with the transmission so um we're gonna try to sell that too because we're not gonna use it it's, it's non-vvti stuff so we're anyways i'll do a little rundown of that and then we'll get to pulling this motor on the Lexus. Okay, so, so far, we bought the engine, slash whole car, for 600 bucks. And then, I took that trip down and got the trans, trans with the flywheel, clutch and it came with twin turbo also forward facing intake slash intake and I paid twelve hundred dollars for that stuff then I went and got this oil pan and the ECU we actually need so ECU slash oil pan. Okay, see you later. Uh, I paid 500 bucks for that stuff, which is just ridiculous to me. But anyways, so uh, pretty much that's what we got into it. So what I still need to buy, I need flywheel bolts, <clears throat> and I was looking on drift motion last night for some ARP bolts. It's $32.99 or whatever. And then we need, I need the plugs to go into that ECU, the pins or whatever. So ECU pins. Those were $66. Uh, what else? Oh, I need the rest of the stuff for this pan. So the baffle is $23. Oil baffle, $23. Uh, I think it was the baffle. Anyways, it was either the baffle and then the pickup was 83 and then the lower pan which I'd like to try to find a used one but I was looking on drift motion those lower pan was 185 which is still just crazy to me so anyways I think that so far is all we need if we put this thing together without a turbo to get the car to start and run. Now I still need to get like a rear diff and a drive shaft and all that stuff, but that doesn't really pertain to the 2J, budget 2J, you know, that's stuff that the car already should have had, but didn't. So uh, yeah, anyways, so this side, we're going to do item sold. Which we haven't sold anything yet. So there's our there's what we have. So far, not really a budget. Okay, we got what? 1800, 1300, 
14, 15, uh, 16, like twenty seven hundred dollars into it roughly something like that so anyways yeah we need to start getting this car pulled apart and getting it torn apart and selling some stuff i also need to get that twin turbo set up posted for sale you know i don't know how much we can make on that but so anyways time to start pulling this apart We got the exhaust off. Uh, hi, Caden. We pulled the whole intake off while it was in there just because it was easier to get to stuff. We got the harness bungeed up out of the way. Cherry picker's ready. We just got it to pop up. And uh, I didn't really hook any, unhook anything on the trans, so except for the drive shaft and the cross member. So we'll see what happens. Oh, also, we're working on freaking gravel or rock. So what we're going to have to do is jack this up some. And I'm going to have to go hook the Tahoe up and pull the car back. And then, yeah, we'll have to jack, pull, jack, pull, unless we can get this to move on the gravel. Before, what I've done is put plywood underneath the cherry picker, but I didn't feel like going and buying plywood today, so... Here we go, and we broke the PVC, oops. But anyways, she's coming out. Let's see how I'll say we're taking this out and make it easier. Keep coming. Just keep going, it doesn't matter, we're fine. It's gonna start pointing the transmission downward. And I don't really see, well, I do see some linkage. That might be for the shifter. Huh? Yeah. Flathead screwdriver. Move it over there. Um, flathead. It was a thicker one.
car. So you're going to have to give it extra gas, but go slow. Okay? Okay, go. Yep. Keep going. More gas. Little more. Little more. That's fine. Keep going. Okay, stop right there. Put it in park. I'm going to unhook this last wire. All right. Back up. Hold the brake when you put it in reverse. Back up. Only down one. Okay, keep going. Don't hit that truck behind you. Huh? You still got a long ways. And watch your mirror on that side. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost clear. Okay, stop. Put it in park. And shut it off for a sec. Shut it off for a sec. We're going to pull it all the way out of the way. We got her, baby. All right. So now I'll have you steer this. on that side.
so right now I already know that we need to change the oil pan. We need to finish getting the wiring harness and like the motor mounts out of that other car, but we're gonna just kind of jack this up, push the super underneath and see if we can see what everything looks like, see how the fitment is, see if those motor mounts are gonna line up or if I need to order something. So I just wanna do like an initial fit and uh, I'll bring you guys in here to look at it once we get it in. All right, jack it up, Caden. Pop there. Okay, get back in the car. Let it roll forward. Keep turning to the right a little bit. Yeah. I'll move, I'll push it from up here if it, when you let it break off, if it doesn't move. Stop. Just keep your foot on the brake. Slow. Stop, stop, stop. Keep your foot on the brake. Turn right more. Okay. Come in a little. Slowly come in. Slow, slow, slow. Keep coming. Stop. Are you off? Okay. Be ready to stop. Keep coming, keep coming. Come in, stop. Okay, e brake it. Okay, come out here and help me guide this in. Are we hitting anything back there? Far back, yeah. We came too far forward. No, the back's We're good. Fine. The back's fine. It's just this side. I know. Push it. Push it. It's Where are we hit? Mm -hmm. Those water mounts seem way far back compared to what we need. Oops. Okay, so we just set it down in here and we are nowhere close. Sorry, it's raining. We're nowhere close because of that front sump pan. We knew that was going to be a problem, so we're going to have to pull this out. We need to pull this engine out, get Caden to clean it up. So I'm going to show you guys we're nowhere close, but I think when we change that pan, it should sit right down where it's supposed to sit. So anyways, I was hoping to get a little closer, but nope, not even close. So anyways, we're going to yank this thing back out and uh, clean it up. I did remember there's a couple things that I need to add to the list. Uh, we need rear main seal before we put the transmission, and I need a pilot bearing. So I got to add those to the list. If you guys can um, think of anything else that we need, that we will need to get this motor to run in this car with that ECU we have, um, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys know of anything we may need. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. So the next video, hopefully we'll have the rest of the parts we need to actually stab this thing in with the transmission hooked up and then we can start on wiring and still looking for drive shaft and uh, hopefully like an LSD rear diff. So if anyone's got one of those, let me know. Uh, one from a turbo car. I'm not sure what gears came in what years or what models or autos or five speeds, but this thing's going to be a five speed, so whatever gears came in a turbo five speed with a limited slip, hopefully. So anyways, that's going to do it. Comment down below if you know what else we need. We're going to pull this thing back out right now. 
and uh, it's going to sit on the floor until we order some more parts. And until Caden gets it clean spotless. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one.